Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the Nobody Spent Road to Glory. And as you can see by that title, 2K have listened to us in part. Uh, domination difficulty has changed. Only the first domination, um, I believe, as far as I'm aware, historic and all time are exactly the same. But current domination now finally has rookie difficulty back. And it is so good to have that back. And as you can see, Today, we have made some huge progress. We are now level 32, and today, in about two hours on our live stream here on YouTube earlier on, we made about 8,000 XP. We were flying, and I think tomorrow, I think tomorrow's episode, guys, we will be bringing home that Amethyst Scotty Pippin, which I'm very excited about, and which I did not expect I was going to be able to get this soon. Rookie Domination is here, it makes Evos. So much easier. It makes obviously some of these XP challenges so much easier as well. And it's just like an actual game mode that we can finally play and not have to sweat like we're in a 250k tournament, which is great. So it's a step in the right direction. There's still a long way to go. They still need to actually address the fact that pro, all star, superstar, and hall of fame are just absurd, especially pro and all star. Like they are just way too difficult for what they should be. But the fact that they've dropped down current domination from hall of fame to all star, that's two full tiers. It was All-Star. It was Hall of Fame. They could have dropped it down to Superstar. They've gone down to All-Star. They dropped it down two levels. That's crazy. Uh, but anyway, before we jump into it, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for daily videos and daily streams. We are being incredibly efficient with our time spent on this account. And uh, as you can see, it is paying off very, very nicely. 3,000 XP needed for Scotty Pippen. We do have this Deluxe League pack to open up here today. And how did we get there? Well, we've done... As you might imagine, quite a lot of challenges. So, Mavs points, uh, 20 points with a single player was easy. So, what I did today, I played two games of Rookie Domination, and I played five games of Triple Threat Online. And you can see here, 12 done of back-to-back -back right now. So, Isaiah Thomas, it took him two games, no wait, three games to get his steals. We got 15 steals in one game of Domination. 15 and then he got two steals and then three steals in a couple of games of TTO. So that was fantastic. He got six layups in a game of triple that online. We did uh, 12 assists, obviously, in domination as well. Bailey Howell got his rebounds in triple that online. He got his minutes. Um, and then we also completed. No, that, that, that was it. Uh, but we completed six of these. We didn't have any of these done yesterday. We got six done. So we bought Alonzo Morning. He got 30 and 10, and he also got four rebounds in triple that online. Uh, Louis Scola, 40 points in the paint, 14 defensive rebounds, and six points in triple that online. Really, really straightforward. And then Patty Mills, 24 points in triple that online. Done with him. We still need to make uh, three threes in a triple that offline game with Patty Mills. Um, and then we also need to get 40 blocks with Zoe. 40 blocks? That is a... That's a mission, and uh, yeah, we've only got one, and that was in an entire game, so that's not very good. Still, I wait for a card from the 2020 bucks to come into my collection, because we still can't do that one without it, which feels bad, bro. Uh, we did three threes with the Suns player in Domination, easy stuff, and six points and three assists with a Spurs player in Triple That Offline, easy stuff. And in this video, we're going to try and get two steals in TTO with a Kings player, because when we do that... We need to play a game of domination. No, we don't. Unlimited. And then that unlocks this, which is another 1,500 XP. And I want to get this unlocked because win five games of triple threat. Well, we can do that while doing five of these challenges as well. So we can get ourselves five times 175 XP <laughs> and 400 XP for doing that. So I like the vibes of that. And 40 points in a single game uh, of domination. That would be really, really straightforward. Um, Carl Lowry only got six more assists with him. We haven't really done much in terms of him. But this section, 49 assists now for Ricky Rubio. Only 16 more for him. 11 free throws for Deshaun. He only needs 14 more. And then Ryan Hollins is on 16 blocks. Only needs four more. We have been making progress. I don't think we completed any segments. I think these are all done. But we've made huge progress. Mainly on the back-to-back -back and the Idol Series 1 for Manu. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow, guys, I think we should be at Scotty Pippin, which is very exciting. Um, and yeah, that's 56,000 XP, and that is a third of the way to Steph. Level 33 is a third of the way. Mad. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. And then Essential Board's 30,000 away now. We're kind of closing in. Let's not forget, we are going to get ourselves 3,000 XP when I complete Domination, eventually. 
Uh, so that'll get us 3,000 XP, which is great. Um, and then I don't think we're going to get any of these, are we? We've played one game of Limited. We've won five games of Unlimited. We've won 16 games of Trivet Online. I guess maybe this one, 260 balls of Trivet Online with 35. We're over the tenth of the way there, but I don't know. I feel like that one might be a little bit tough. But anyway, yeah, Domination. We have been playing against the Knicks. I think the Knicks are the easiest team to go up against. So yeah, Knicks, Rookie Domination. It's a breeze and it's so nice to play a game and just focus on challenges and not have to focus on uh, playing like you are a professional because I don't want to be doing that, not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, Triple Dot Online, we are actually on four wins at the moment and two losses on this. So we are still on Tier 2 um, and we will go into that in a second, like I said, when we get a Kings player and try and get two steals. But here is our Deluxe League pack. This is the reward for level 32, which I think is pretty bad. It is really bad. That was our reward. Bronze range ain't bad, but that's our reward for level 32. Bro, that's real bad. Right, does that bronze range sell for anything? Any value? Uh, to, to be fair, I ain't mad at it. I, I ain't mad at 7k. 6.5k. I'm still not mad at it. Do we have a silver range or not? Because I know we got a, I know we got a gold range. I know we got this. Damn, gold range is dirt cheap. Bronze range is expensive. Expansive though, mad. Uh, anyway, we have made a couple of big purchases. Obviously, as you might have seen uh, in the challenges, or as you did see in the challenges, we did buy a diamond Alonzo morning, and I paid forty thousand MT for him. And at the time, the cheapest was forty five on a buy now. So I think that's a reasonable price. Maybe it's come down a little bit, sort of like forty four, maybe like forty three, forty two. Still, we're going in for forty. Not bad, but of course, to be able to afford him. Uh, we kind of did need to sell somebody, and sell somebody we did. Isaiah Thomas and Mitchell Robinson. Mitchell Robinson, 4K, easy stuff. Isaiah Thomas, we bought him for 68,000 MT, if you remember. 68K we spent on this card, and we sold him for 87K. That's huge profit, and we got all of his challenges done so quickly as well. So that was a huge W. We're back up to 88,000 MT right now, which sadly is not enough for people like Ben Wallace, who's 170k. Uh, Lamar Odom, who's like 120-ish k. Um, Paul George, who is... Oh, maybe Paul George is attainable. Maybe PG is attainable, because he's got some really nice challenges attributed to his name, uh, and they would really help us along the way to uh, getting... What is happening with my fingers? I don't know. Uh, to getting that Amethyst Scotty Pippen. I think he needs steals and three-pointers... But I think they're all just like cumulative. They're just over like many multiple games. So really straightforward. 95k, yeah. So we can't afford him just yet. Um, obviously, he is a great card, which is why he's going to be so expensive. 90k. Yeah, sadly, not one for a, a steal right there. But if we do manage to get him, like I said, we come down here and we have a look at Idols, uh, Paul George. So three dunks in a game through the offline. Straightforward. 23s over multiple games for 600 XP and then 20 steals. So that's a nice like 2,100 XP right there from Paul George. And like I said, I got 15 steals in a single game with Isaiah Thomas. Like, bro, that was straightforward. That was awesome. Uh, and I'm trying to sell my uh, Jimmy Buckets right there for 2.6k. And I'm not going to sell Jokic just yet because he is not expensive enough at the moment for me to want to sell him. Right, let's go through the online and let's see if we can get... Um, so what do we need? We don't need anything with these guys apart from assist with Ricky Rubio so we need a Kings player do we have any decent Kings players now if you guys haven't done Doug Christie's challenge you can do it you can do it you could do it in this challenge as well and uh, it is obviously perfect to knock out two challenges um, at the same time we'll take Buddy Heald and Jaron Fox I guess I mean that's a tiny lineup I'm not going with that actually that's a bad that's a bad vibe do we have any Kings centers I didn't actually say um, yeah, I mean, I think I got it first time of asking with Doug Christie. Uh, Kings, big men. We'll go Marvin Bagley, sure, why not? Okay, so we'll use Darren Fox, and we'll try and get two steals with him. So if we get that done, we just need to play a game of Unlimited. I don't even think we need to win it. I think we just need to play a game of Unlimited, and that unlocks the final set of challenges. And like I said, in there, there's win five games of Triple That Offline. We've got the division challenges already for Triple That Offline, so it's all about maximizing your time playing this game like i said all i did today was two hours on stream two ricky domination games five games of trip of the online i think it was five maybe six um and we got eight thousand xp from two hours of playing that is what i'm saying all right my boys got shack pay mills and jason tatum all i care about 
is two steals with either De'Aaron Fox or Marvin Bagley. That is all I want to see. I probably should have bought three Kings players just in case. But it's over now. We've got, we've got Ricky Rubio. If we get a couple of assists with him, he only needs... Oh, it's a dynamic duo as well. Lovely. Um, all he needs... All Ricky Rubio needs is like 16 more re uh, assists, I think. Which ain't too bad, to be fair. Um, and there's his first one. Lovely stuff. Right, inbound steals. Oh, we're going to try. we go and try. It's not going to be easy. The, the, the delay is not easy. You can't go for the uh, sort of like bump steals like you can against the AI because uh, players just aren't responsive enough in this game, which is sad. Um, but you know what? It's what we're used to this year, let's be real. Oh, come on. I mean, you can obviously have the ball up there with Shaq. That's not going to be a problem at all. I'm kind of spamming square, not going to lie, but you kind of can in terms of the online. You can't get fouled out or anything like that. So I'm not going to get too concerned if we start racking up the fouls. And apparently he's going to hit that. Okay. I guess I kind of do want to win this. Because we are on the... That's you, Darren. We are on for a three-ball drop game. I guess I want to, but... Please, let's go. That was De'Aaron Fox. That was De'Aaron Fox, right? That's the first one. Come on. One more with De'Aaron in this entire game. Oh, fingertips away. Fingers... All right, it's going to be those inbounds. It's going to be those inbounds where we're going to get it. Because uh, this guy seems to be pretty reckless uh, with his just sort of like yeeting up and just hoping for the best. Um, but that was so close. We could have had it straight away. And then I could have relaxed and actually just got the dub. Let's go. I'll take a celebratory three to get it done. Let's go. I just want to double check that that is indeed two steals with a Kings player. Let's go. All right. That's huge. Very happy with that. Uh, now let's just try and uh, close out this game. And you already know the strat. Uh, just flop. The strat is literally flop and let the opponents shoot. Because nobody can shoot in this game. It's unfathomable. Fathomable. Oh, big words. I struggle. Um, in a basketball game, the strategy to win would be genuinely to leave your opponent wide open. But that's where we're at this year. I know you just hit one right there with uh, Patty Mills. But, hey, man, I'm going to let you keep taking those. I'm going to let you keep taking those because I know you ain't going to hit them too, uh, too high of a clip. Uh, and again, he's off-balling in the paint as well. That's going to miss. I know it is. You hate to see it. That animation is boo-boo. Let's go. Do you have Fox with a board? Oh, I tried to take it over Shaq. That was not a good vibe. Why would I do this? I don't know. Mistakes were made, guys. I'm sorry. What? Oh, he is... Jacking them, but thankfully he is missing them as well. Let's go, Jaron. Nice. All right, and that's a couple of assists for Ricky Rubio as well. So, really making a use of everything that we've got going for us. Assists with Rubio, steals with the Kings players. Just making sure you're doing at least a couple of things. So even if I lost this game right now, I wouldn't really mind that much because I've got my steals and my Kings players, which is what I came in for. So always make sure you've got a goal. Other than just win the game. Because if you're trying to just win the game, it's not going to be fun. Because this game is not fun if you're actually trying. Because there's so many broken animations and just broken shooting and everything. So if you're coming in trying to win, it's an L. You're not going to enjoy yourself. If you're coming in just doing challenges, you might find yourself enjoying yourself. Just a tiny weensy, weensy, teensy, weensy bit. So that's where I'm at right now. Let's just get this game over the, over the finishing line. Wow, he misses a 22% contested layup. Bruh. This game is just missed jump shots and missed open layups and AI steals. That's where this game is at right now. Jesus Christ. All right. Like I said, as soon as you start trying to win a game, it loses all its fun. It really does. If you're just focusing on challenges, sure, it's not bad. But as soon as you start trying, it's a jeej. Come on. Just let me win. Please. Okay, there we go. Rubio. To Patty Mills. Uh, that's not Patty Mills. It's Jaron Fox. He's got Patty Mills. Oh my god. We can't hit a king layup. Okay. Our lead is gone. It's fine. It's really not fine. It's incredibly frustrating. He's just camping in the paint. And I can't shoot. Oh, stop missing these layups, bro. Just hit one. This is a struggle, guys. Of 2K21 gameplay. And now we've got to win. Oh, dear. Get off your 
Shaq, bro, just do something else. I don't know if I can shoot. I don't know if he can shoot. Oh, screw this game. And this is why you don't try and win this game. Believe me, I could be swearing so much right now. But we got our king steals. So it's fine, I guess. It's still incredibly frustrating that this game is the way that it is. But oh well. We got a few assists for Ricky Rubio. We got our steals, our Kings players. Right, on stream today, we played for 50 minutes. What is that? Is that the player? Is that Theo Ratliff? I mean, we can try and get him. I don't think we're going to be able to. It was a nice bit of lag. Um, I played for 50 minutes in the stream, which was before I actually got angry at this game or like annoyed at this game. And that was the longest I've gone in a single stream without getting frustrated at this game. 50 minutes. I think we just got the Theo Ratliff. I think it was. All right. I mean, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Why not? And if we come down here, we should hopefully see... There we go. Two steals and triple that online. Sweet. We just need to play a game of Unlimited. And then that is the final set of this week's challenges unlocked. Keeping up on pace. And there we go. Free card from Triple Online. Theo Ratliff, 76ers. First owner card. I will take it. Is he any good? Uh, six foot ten. Mm, no. Uh, but 93 block. Good rebounding. Mm, pretty bad speed. He could be okay, I guess. Uh, so that puts us... 2,800 away from Scotty Pippen. We are so close. Like I said, tomorrow, guys, hopefully we will have him. But just know, for now, Rookie Domination is back. Thank God we have a game mode that we can go into. It's not going to make you lose your sanity. It's just every other game mode will do that apart from this one. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. Thank goodness for that. We can focus on getting these challenges done. And uh, we really have made a hell of a start today. And uh, I think tomorrow... We'll hopefully have got through five games of this triple that offline, um, and that will give us... And then in tomorrow's episode, we'll probably do a couple of games of triple that online, because we need some there, win five games. Um, and thankfully, yeah, this one, you just need to play a game. You don't need to win it, because winning would be struggle. But anyway, that's going to do it, guys, for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.